thought about diving into your family tree in a way. <laughs> uh, I've always thought about doing something like that, kind of doing like one of those uh, 23 Me kind of stuff, but I'm also kind of like, I don't know how they truly determine things. Um, so I kind of just go off of like the backgrounds of uh, my parents and my grandparents, etc., etc., to kind of piece together things like that. So, hello everybody, this is that manga dude, and welcome to a very different video than what I usually do. Uh, if you've been on my channel for a long time, I talk about manga stuff, like, <laughs> about almost exclusively. Uh, here and there I talk about anime and stuff like that. Uh, make jokes, make comedy here and there. But this is more of a personal video for me specifically, actually. Um, so my background specifically, I'm um, like a mix from a Latin American country, um, from Germany, as well as Japan, actually. My grandma on my dad's side is full Japanese. Or, um, or I guess was full Japanese. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Um, <laughs> she passed away, I believe, in 2010, somewhere around there. Um, but very recently, I was actually at my aunt's uh, my aunt's house. Uh, she actually lived with her um, for her entire life until she passed away. And uh, yeah, so my aunt was like kind of digging through stuff. She's like, hey, do you want any of this kind of stuff from your grandma, from your grandpa? Feel free to look through and uh, pick something out. So for this specific thing, I was like looking and I found this really interesting book so this is what it is so <laughs> it doesn't really look like anything super interesting you can see some Japanese um, on the cover or on the spine here um, it's kind of hard to read I'm sorry but yeah so what this is is this is a naturalization book from Japan to English uh, of all things or Japanese to English so um, so some quick background really quick. My grandma's name was Michiko, um, and she was she lived in Japan until she met my grandpa uh, while he was stationed in the, in Japan on a military base during the Korean War, if I remember correctly. Um, <laughs> so they eventually got married, and then she moved to America with my grandpa after he got... Uh, whatever you call it, uh, honorably discharged or something. I, I don't really, I'm sorry, I'm so bad with military stuff, I don't really know it, but that's basically what happened. So, um, yeah, so this was her book, uh, attempting to learn more about the U.S. culture and stuff like that. So, it's a very interesting book. It's from 1958, but it looks like she got it around 1960. Um, as you can see from her signature, I'm going to cover up my, uh, my last name here, uh, but you will get to see her first name. So, there it is, June 8th. 1960 or 60 something I don't know what the the Japanese is there but uh, she has really beautiful handwriting by the way just <laughs> just something to mention but uh, yeah so basically this is gonna be kind of like a look through kind of to see like what's in it what what was going on in 1958 and kind of seeing some of the extra notes she put in here too which is kind of funny uh, and kind of interesting to look at too because it just shows like not even that long ago thinking about it like it's gonna be 70 years now or about 70 ish years um, of this book being in existence and yeah it's pretty old it is definitely falling apart in some areas so just bear that bear in mind uh, i'm gonna try my best to show it off as best as possible so let's get started right now okay so i'm gonna be flipping through these pages um pretty slowly but yeah so there's nothing on the front page this is it the textbook on naturalization for u.s citizenship english with japanese translation oriental culture book company um and you can tell the book is old because the ink is starting to burn into the pages before it um i don't really know what this japanese says so um yeah i'm just gonna hold it on the screen for a bit so if someone wants to read it they can here we go some more japanese our Constitution and Government, Simplified Edition, 25 Lessons in Citizenship from D.L. Hennessy. Thanks, D.L. Hennessy. I appreciate you. So keep on going. Uh, looks like you got some chapter stuff here. Let's see, September 1958. <laughs> this book is twice my age, over twice actually. So this book is extremely old, but um, this is like the only date I could find in this book specifically. Um, so I think that's when this is from. But you keep on going, get some more information, some more chapter stuff, um, some more Japanese. Don't really know what it says. If you do speak Japanese or do read Japanese, I'd love to know what this says. So yeah, feel free to leave in the comments like any kind of idea of what it could be. So then you go through here. You got some information from the Star Spangled Banner and Betsy Ross. I wish I knew what the context was that for. I'm pretty sure it's the Star Spangled Banner. They're just talking about the national anthem. And then Betsy Ross, who wrote or did not write uh, Star Spangled Banner. She's one of the creators of the flag. Um, there's the, um, what, what do you call it? The, the, the national, not the national anthem, the, uh, 
the pledge, <laughs> a pledge of allegiance. Holy crap, I'm so bad. I've been out of um, school and doing that forever. Um, there's a bunch of the states. I believe this is supposed to be the first 13. Uh, I think it's interesting that she crosses out Connecticut, whatever that was in Japanese and wrote her own thing. Um, don't know what that was, but just interesting to point out. Got some information, the Articles of Confederation, some other things, looks like some number, numerical things as well. The freedom of religion, the, the freedom of press, fair trial, so this is probably the Bill of Rights. Uh, we got the Legislative Department, Executive and Administrative Department, I don't know what that is, interesting. Keep going. She underlined something in Japanese, I don't know what that says, but I guess this was very important. We have check and balances. Um, you have Richard Nixon <laughs> in here before he was president. That's crazy. Thomas H. Kukul and William F. Noland. Don't know who those people are. Keep going. You have some more Japanese. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure all of this is going to be in Japanese for the most part. Um, I think it's interesting to note, too, like where she crosses some stuff out to. I kind of wish I knew what it was. Um, and then she has, like I guess, the president's underlined... Um, and this is like what the first part where I felt like this was like crazy to see was seeing the presidents uh, and uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower because they actually this book was I guess published before uh, the finishing of his term. Um, so she actually wrote in the 35th and 36th presidents, aka Kennedy and Johnson, um, and then also wrote kind of wrote down the dates, but not really. It's kind of interesting. Uh, you keep on going. Have some other interesting stuff. I guess this is all like kind of like government uh, conversation, which is interesting. The judicial apartment. I kind of like how it's like uh, like stamped print. I don't know how to explain that, but kind of see cool to see. Keep on flipping through. You got the Senate Assembly, some Chief Justice stuff. Um, there's stain <laughs> initiative, referendum, governor, lieutenant governor. Some extra stuff. I guess some like state stuff. So county clerk, county treasurer. Um, yeah, nothing too much here. Suffrage, <laughs> you know, the right to vote. That's cool, I guess. Um, you have, I believe this is like the uh, the timeline of the United States and how we came to form. You have 1492, of course. I don't know why she underlined 1507. I'll have to check for it and see what that is. She underlined some other stuff. 1776, of course, is um, America's like Declaration of Independence and various other things. Other dates uh, underlined. And then I guess this is the English version of that, so... <laughs> Chris, Christopher Columbus discovered San Salvador and took possession in of this island in the name of Spain. Uh, and then you have Amerigo Vespucci. You have some information about some of the settlements settled by Spain and by English and the Dutch. Um, kind of interesting to look at. I guess they also wrote down some of like the other random, like I guess, European wars. The King William's War, Queen Anne's War, King George's War. I don't even know what those are. <laughs> You got the Boston Tea Party, um, you got obviously like the payments and stuff like that, the Continental Congress, um, yeah, some interesting stuff. Revolutionary War, ooh, that's a dead bug, I guess. Um, Declaration of Independence, Lord Cornwallis, <laughs> uh, the Peace Treaty, got some other stuff, some other dates, you got where we purchased Florida, where we purchased Mexico, uh, or Mexico separates from Spain, kind of interesting, um, like what they decided to add and what they didn't. Uh, Emancipation Proclamation, Civil War, and then it just ends at World War II ended because I guess we weren't uh, talking about the Korean conflict too much, it seems. Um, and then I guess you have like kind of like a quiz, which is kind of funny. <laughs> is, the, is the United States ruled by a king or an emperor? Um, <laughs> it's ruled by neither, uh, which is a funny question, I guess. Or like, I don't know, just interesting. Uh, the, the mention that we're a republic. She crosses out that there are 50 states now, which I think is kind of interesting, um, because at the point at the, this point in printing this book, there was only 48, um, which is just fascinating. There's the 50 states again. She crossed out how many stars are in the American flag. Obviously, there's 50. Um, she underlined the national anthem. Three branches of national government. Some other interesting stuff here. Got the Constitution question. Some amendment stuff. Yeah. Oh, this was interesting. I don't know why they asked this. Um, it was right here. How many representatives are there in California? So I I'm assuming that this book was meant to be used in California. However, she don't, at least from what I know, they never lived in California. I happen to live in California, but she had always lived in Missouri, um, from what I can tell and from what I know. Uh, so it's just fascinating that they ask the questions of, like, who are the senators from California? Because it's like, I I barely even know that, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, at least in my general time. 
So it's just interesting to see. Like, I don't even know these names. Um, yeah, there are 30 representatives for California. Got some other questions about California and senators and stuff like that. Um, it's interesting. I don't know. So it's so interesting to look at, like, <laughs> the back. Who makes the laws for the armed forces? Like, that's a random question. <laughs> Congressional record, quorum, limitations of length of time for the uh, Army and Navy. I think that's random. Okay. Simple majority, how are the electors chosen. And then this one is actually really interesting to me. So it says here, name the presidents killed while in office. Uh, and it's like Presidents Lincoln, Garfield, and McKinley. And then she wrote in Kennedy, which I was just like, that's like crazy to think that like... <laughs> That's when she was reading or looking at this book was like after Kennedy passed away or after after Kennedy was killed. Um, so it's just like interesting to see something like that. Um, you keep going. You have some other stuff. All the secretary people. Um, like I guess the cabinet makers. Yeah, lawmakers. More president stuff. Highest court. Supreme Court, of course. There's nine justices. Uh, who was the head? There's one that's really interesting about this. Um... Uh, oh man, it must be later in the book. I looked at this like a little bit before I did this video, but um, there's some California stuff again. Does the state give us? <laughs> so interesting to look at this. State the wars this country has engaged in. So you notice how they don't add the Korean War here uh, because technically we did not declare war. Uh, we just kind of assisted with all of it. So really interesting to note uh, who, who and what they put there. Keep going. The birthday of the United States. Declaration of Independence. The first president during the First World War. Who wrote the <laughs> who wrote the Declaration of Independence? A recall. What is an anarchist? This is one of my favorite just random questions. What is an anarchist? An anarchist is a person who does not believe in an organized government. And then what is polygamy? <laughs> like why is this even a question? It's so strange. I don't know. It's just like really weird to note. Um, and then they have obviously some political people, Secretary of State, Secretary of Agriculture, and other random people. Kind of interesting to note. Clarence Thomas. Oh no, Charles Thomas. Sorry, not Clarence Thomas. Okay, that's somebody else. My bad. <laughs> Secretary of uh, the other secretaries as well. Then you have all of the Star Spangled Banner, God Bless America, and American's Creed? I don't even know what this is. Interesting. And then I guess there's a second part here. I don't know what this says, so we're just gonna look through this real quick. Keep going. I give you a flower. I <laughs> I wanna know the contents, the context behind that. Keep going. Oh, this one's interesting. So who are you? Blah, blah, blah. It says some stuff here. Um, and then it asks you, I am Hanako Smith. What is your name? My name is Hanako Smith. Who was the first president? Blah, blah, blah. So, you know, some really basic stuff. And where were you born? I was born in Japan. And then you keep going. I guess they have some things like, what is this? Who are you? Which is your book? Where do you live? Where were you born? Why did you do it? Why did you do it? <laughs> so interesting. It's about to get really aggressive, by the way. There's like one party here that's like very strange, uh, in my opinion. Um, so you keep going, there's some other stuff. Uh, Republic is a country governed by people's representatives. Um, I guess this is like just more context for those questions that they asked earlier. Um, what is the constitution? When was it written? Basic stuff like that. Amendments. I knew this. 22 amendments. There's 22 amendments at this time, so that's crazy, because that means I think there's, what, 27 or 28 now? There's a lot more. <laughs> this is interesting to note that uh, how different it is. Obviously, the freedom stuff, three branches of federal government. It's pretty obvious, pretty simple. Some other information here. 531 uh, members altogether for the House and the Senate. Interesting. Who makes the laws? There's 96 senators. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, 96 senators. <laughs> Longest term for the, this president. Qualification. He must be a native-born citizen. How long is the term of the U.S. president? And then some obviously answered questions here. Judicial. He is Earl Warren. He's the chief justice. Uh, I don't even know if Earl Warren's still alive. Just, <laughs> he might be. Um, I, I don't really know our Supreme Court very well, to be completely honest, but interesting to note, like, who is listed as the Chief Justice. 
They serve for life during good behavior. <laughs> Keep going. Got some information about um, where the California legislator meets in Sacramento. So yeah, this is definitely a California one. Also, this is really funny. What does the city give us? The city gives us police and fire protection, street improvements, <laughs> parks, playgrounds, and educational facilities. Very nice. Appreciate it, state. Freedom speech, freedom this, what is the freedom press? Anyone can express his own opinion in a newspaper. What is your religion? I am a Christian. It's interesting that they, like, that's kind of the default. Um, and then this is where it gets crazy. This is the part where I was like, oh, you're, you're kidding, right? Um, right here. You are a Japanese. If president says you must believe in Buddhism, then what is your answer to him? Like, what a, what a statement. <laughs> and it says, by the Bill of Rights, I could choose my own religion, which is, of course, makes sense. Uh, but that's just like, it, it's so weird to read like older uh, stuff like this, because it's like, that would not fly here. Like, uh, I, I don't even know if it should have flown at all, um, even during the time. Like, that's like such a crazy thing to say, considering what we already did to the Japanese at the time. Like, I, I don't know, that that's just wild to me. Um, but anyways, let's continue, because this is where it gets crazy. Are you a communist? This, you, know, you could tell, you could definitely tell this was written during the Red Scare, because everybody was terrified of Russians and, um, well, I guess the Soviet Union, excuse me, uh, and communism. So, are you a communist? Have you ever been connected with communism? No, I have never been a communist, and I have never been connected with communism. It is crazy that in 1958, we have uh, all this still happening. Even now, like 1958 and then the 2023 stuff, I don't know if you saw the stuff about the TikTok president, but like, like, the exact same thing was basically happening. We're like, oh, or like, or, or, do you have any association with China? He's like, no, I'm from, this, I'm like, I think he said he was Singap he's Singaporean or from the Singap or from Singapore. And he's like, oh, and they kept asking the same stupid question. And I'm like, it it's insane that even how long it's been since 1958, we are still asking the same stupid questions towards these people. And it's just like really frustrating to watch. So um, just something to mention. Also this, why do you want U.S. citizenship? I like the freedom of U.S. I love the democracy of this country. I wish to work for the benefit of this country and to protect the happiness of our children. <laughs> oh, man. I was invited to a dinner. I want to get U.S. citizenship. I attend church every Sunday. How long have you been in this country? I have been here five years. How many senates? How many assemblymen? So... This is interesting, and I guess like this is like how you can like write a letter for your naturalization test. Some other information about like I guess US, United States naturalization. Um, yeah, so this is pretty simple stuff here. Nothing too crazy. Questions. Other stuff. Vocabulary. So they have all this score, fathers, brought, continent. The Gettysburg Address is just here for some reason. Um, interesting have some other words here and then they have like I guess like the part in the back um it's important to note I, I couldn't I guess I must have skipped over it um let me see let's see Alaska there was like a part where they talk about oh they talk about American Samoa so 59 let's see 59 Oh, here it is. Okay, this part is just like an interesting part of history. So, um, what are the territories of the United States? Alaska, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, not Puerto Rico. So, I don't know if that changed or if this is just a weird translation error, but something important to note that they had a different spelling of Puerto. Uh, they got Guam, the Panama Canal Zone, the Panama Canal Zone. Uh, Virgin Island, not the U.S. Virgin Islands, just the just Virgin Island and American Samoa. So, really interesting how Alaska and Hawaii were just territories; they weren't states yet. So, just I don't know something really random to answer, like notice. Um, and then you get towards the end here; it's just like a bunch of stuff. Like if you're looking for specific names, uh, whatever. There's Puerto Rico. It's so interesting. And then some other information about South Carolina. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, so, yeah, it's just so interesting to look at a naturalization book from 1958 um, just to see how far we've come in terms of, like, what we need to know for the United States because I feel like a lot of this information, obviously, uh, it, of course, is out of date. But um, a lot of these, like, things are just, like, so strange. Like, oh, are you a communist? Like, um, it's just interesting to read, especially because, like, Japan was never communist. Um, so, like, um, you could definitely tell uh, it was written... 
at a time where there was just like an Asian scare where everything from Asia was just communist. Or like a lot of fear around Asia because of China, because of Russia, or I guess the Soviet Union at the time, um, the North Korea stuff, obviously. Um, everyone thought, oh, all of Asia must be like communist. So it's just like interesting to take a look at that and uh, see how far we've come and how little far we've come uh, in some some aspects. So it's really interesting to read through this, to really look through it. So thank you so much for checking this out with me. Um, this is genuinely the first time I've actually flipped through the entire thing. I have flipped through it here and there, uh, kind of like glancing, just kind of like laughing at some of the weird stuff. But also like it's just kind of like interesting to look back on history, um, especially like my personal history. Um, yeah, being a quarter Japanese is like interesting. Uh, I definitely don't look it. Um, I, I definitely look very uh, European and and or Latin American or like a Latino. Um, so it's interesting to be able to like look at another part of my background, a part that most people don't see, um, and be able to talk about it too. So it's just really cool to see this. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This was a very personal video for me, so um, it was a lot of fun to take a look through it. I know it was a quieter video. There wasn't a lot of jokes or anything. I was just kind of just glancing through this book and flipping through it, but um, I did enjoy looking through it. I think it's interesting to look back, uh, like I said already, and I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, yeah. That's gonna be it for this video. You can like, you can comment, you can subscribe. Appreciate it when you do all those things. Thank you to Regs C. Lee for being a um, member. You can also become a member so you can get these videos early and check them out and see if you enjoy what I do. Um, really appreciate you all. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.